Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to kind of go over some quick ways of going from Matrix 8 to ZBrush and some of the settings. Um, I know I kind of went over this a while back, but things have changed with the newer versions of these programs and it was like three years ago that I made the last one. So um, first I'd like to open up my library. And we'll go to some patterns. Maybe just import something. Okay, and this is a T spline. And for this example, I'm going to take it and copy it over. And I'm just going to convert the other second half. into just a NURBS surface. Okay, just going to group it real quick. So we've got the T-splines and the NURBS. So what we're going to do here is export both of them and I'll export the T-splines in two different ways. First, if we are just to export this, select it and do your export selected. And for now, I'm going to just do, I'm going to call this NURBS. It's going to ask you for some settings. And in the past, if you were to export a NURB surface, it would sometimes go into ZBrush and you have to weld it in ZBrush on the import otherwise it would break apart. That's no longer the case. With this you just keep it unwelded, push OK, and going into ZBrush I like to do maximum edge length and this number can change from just depending on what you want. Um, you can do preview and you can kind of see what it'll be like, how dense. But this is the option it'll create the most quads, um, which is, in my opinion, best for bringing it over. Although nowadays it doesn't really matter because you can, uh, inside ZBrush, you can uh, dynamesh it and do all that type of stuff. So just going to push OK. Then I'm going to also export this, and I'm not sure, but sometimes if you look over here, there's a setting, okay? Sometimes the setting, I don't know, I have a theory. Sometimes it works on this setting, and sometimes it doesn't, but if you go to, over to the um, compatibility mode it usually always works that one so what I mean by that is we'll export this one it's in fast mode just like it is in fast mode but it's also smooth and I'm going to just say for smooth for now welded, push OK. It's asking me for options, so it's actually going to go over basically just like this other object. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to push tab to put it in box mode. First turn on two spines. And then you can export that as a box mode. Didn't ask me for the other options this time. Now I'm going to do one more just to show you. We're going to go into the compatibility mode. Going to push tab and export this. And this one we're going to call for come. Oh, it's 
see it's asking this time. We're going to do it again just to see something. Oh, okay. Just checking. You'll see in a minute as we go over. Come over to ZBrush and import those. So first we'll do the box mode. This comes in just like we saw it. From here you can divide it up and it's back to the way it was. Alright, so there's one option. Now we'll import this one. As you can see, it came over as smooth. Um, just like that, okay? You can divide that, but you can also come and you can dynamesh it, do whatever. But you can see it came over smooth. Now let's import the nerves. And it too obviously came over as smooth. Let's import the last one. And it too was smooth from that mode. Okay. I'm going to go back into Matrix and just see what's going on because sometimes you can export it okay that one did the same thing let me go back to this one And let's see. Well, I guess we'll do the smooth. Okay, let's see if it brings up the options or not. Nope. See, that's what I was talking about. That sometimes, depending on the mode you're in, which this time I was in the fast mode, it'll automatically export as smooth or box watch import so we'll do the comp first came as a smooth okay and now we'll do the nerves I mean the smooth and this time it should come in as box mode Okay, so it came in as box mode, whereas the first time that I did it, it came in as smooth mode, or smooth here. So why it does that, I do not know. Um, it just does. So just paying attention sometimes when you first do it and it doesn't work, you can try it again and maybe let's and see. But the easiest would be just to know that maybe if you were to have it in the compatibility mode and export it out with it smooth like this it'll stay smooth or just convert it to a NURBS first then export it and you know you'll have smooth if you're looking for box mode then I would usually just change it to box mode um, then you know for sure it's going to come in that way. But when it's on this mode and you're trying to export it smooth, you might have that time where it goes in as smooth or box mode. You just don't know. So, you know, you can play it safe, do it either way. Um, I hope this was a little bit helpful. Um, in ZBrush, you know, it's 
as you could see as you divide them and even go back to like the NURBS version of it and you divide it, you can divide it and it does not break up. You used to have to come in on import and weld on import but no longer the case as long as you weld it out of matrix. Um, from here doesn't matter, you can always come, you can dynamesh it, you know. And just play around with it and do what you need to. So hopefully that was helpful in some way um, on some of these settings. And until next time, have a good night.